Hello. Um, so for my critical essay towards sustainable, uh, I picked the paper towards sustainable smart cities by particulate matter prediction using urban big data and excluding expensive uh, air pollution infrastructure. So the problem addressed within this paper uh, are the following. Uh, can big data capture and, and be analyzed from different sources in smart cities? Can urban policy makers find solutions for urban development using big data combined with different data, uh, data resources in smart cities? And to what degree of accuracy can these data uh, resources predict particular matter? Uh, the study is one of predictive data analysis, where four different data sets used to uh, fuel the framework of the predictive model. And these uh, four data sets were collected for the city of Haraus in Denmark between the 1st of August and the 30th of uh, September in 2014. Uh, these data sets are metallurgical and web sensor data, air pollution sensor data, point of interest data, and traffic sensor data. So in the uh, data acquisition and preparation stage, uh, the authors uh, said, uh, well, the authors did uh, split the data into 11 unique districts, which correlate geographically to 11 districts of Horace. And this was explained in the data modeling stage that it was noted by the authors that uh, traditional uh, machine learning approaches uses all input features and that the training slash test data would have the same data distri distribution. But as this comes as a cost uh, of performance degra degradation uh, when testing the model, uh, just uh, testing the model on regions uh, using the input fe features from the data sets, uh, they had to circumnavigate uh, this issue by using a high performance learner. And this high performance uh, learner would be used on the targeted regions. Uh, which allowed for improved analysis of one region by transferring information from another related region. Uh, the comparison, uh, in the comparison, the author's uh, predictive model was evaluated against a autoregression moving average, uh, which was done in proposed uh, time inter uh, intervals of three, six, uh, three, six, twelve, and twenty-four hours, and uh, the results indicated that. Uh, the baselines were surpassed in two manners, and this was uh, so. For instance, uh, data sources of weather, point of interest, uh, traffic sensor data uh, brought improvements to particular matter prediction uh, when applied to neural networks with longer time intervals. But with uh, shorter time intervals, uh, the regression uh, surpassed the baseline used in this uh, used in this um, test. So in conclusion, the insights gained from the study show that a predictive model uh, the authors used supports the baselines over traditional approaches uh, to measuring particulate matters in smart cities. Uh, thank you.